Okay, well these are a class of year five children um, and it's a maths lesson, so we have an hour long maths lesson. Um, and we're gonna focus today on negative numbers but putting them in context. Um, but this group of children are a selection from across the year five group um, who are, they're the lowest achieving children in the year group because they've got a range of special, special educational needs. We've got 75% free school meals in here, three statemented children, we've got autistic children in here and we've got an awful lot of speech and language difficulties. So we've got only a group of 11 children in here at the moment and we have got quite a few adults, some child specific, um, but what we're trying to do is focus on the independence of those children as well. So those child specific adults will move throughout the lesson and work with different different children. Um, so yesterday we worked on negative numbers and the difference between negative and positive numbers just on a number line. Today we're moving on to put that more into the context of temperature for the children. So they're going to have a range of challenges within that. Um, we've got a wide ability range in here um, and you'll kind of see as they're sat the lowest ability children are there and the highest are over there um, and they'll end up doing quite different activities but around the same theme. Well done, what you've shown me by doing that is that you understand in the desert, in a hot place, the temperature is going to be high. Now, what about in Antarctica? Rub out with your finger the bits that you don't need now in your thermometer. What temperature might it be in Antarctica? That's right. Okay, well I'll try and rub that all off for you quickly. And then you decide where it's going to go. Where do you think it's now going to go? Where's your line going to be? You think it'll be about 15 degrees. You draw it to where you think. Do you think it's going to be hotter or colder than the desert? Colder. So if the desert was up here, whereabouts do you think Antarctica could be? Do you think it would still be this hot? And stop. Show me your thermometers. We've got a big range this time. That's interesting. So you have all done a temperature that is a little bit lower or colder than the desert because you've understood that in Antarctica it is going to be colder so on your thermometer it's not going to go up as far well done but we've got temperatures here that range from minus 10 to 35 now actually in Antarctica here this temperature is right down on this picture at about minus five at the time of that picture. So it is actually right down there. So the temperature can range from all the way down here in cold places and in some places even colder than minus five all the way up to 40 degrees or maybe even more if you're going somewhere that's really, 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 really hot. So there is a big range. So we're going to see today what our range is of our water, okay? And we're going to be thinking very hard about the difference between these negative temperatures and these hotter temperatures.